Hi, this is Alex, and today's video I am showing you how to make the end motor steering. Okay, so let's get started. So, we start off with this piece. This is just a frame, and it has um, these three stud long pieces that go through it. These ones on top, and then these ones that go through this central section. First off, we're going to take this T-looking piece right here. This goes on like that. Should snap into place. Next, we're going to take this piece. This just has a five stud axle with these extenders, I guess. That, I don't know what to call these, but um, this is a good look at it. And then it has these pieces up here. So you can then snap this on like that and push these in and it will be it can't move basically you can't pull it out which is the point <clears throat> next up we are going to take this five stud long axle and a 12 tooth gear and put this in like that so it, it just goes up to the gear um that'll be pushed in later so we're going to take this piece it has you can use basically anything that connects to an axle like this, such as this piece. Um, but And then I just have a four long axle with the stop, and that's pushed all the way down. This is gonna go, you're gonna take this three long stud axle connector, and you're gonna place it through the central hole, the one that doesn't have a pin in it, and you can just kind of fit it through and then push your five axle in. So now they're all connected. So next we're gonna take these pieces. They have a connector on the back and then the pin ball thing on the front. And those will go in these two holes. And you want the, the ball facing away or as far away as you can like that next we're going to take the rubber band and put it around there so now it's kind of you can kind of see this that's what corrects the axle back into place <clears throat> okay next up is this right here now this has these pieces and then it has a four long with with um, stop at the end, and then a half stud long piece that holds it in place, like so. Now you can just snap this in to these two studs on the bottom. There should be two on each side, not including or including these pieces. So you should see two on each side. Next, you can take another piece that's the same. These are, if I remember correctly, like 11 long, 11 studs long. Yeah, it's 11. Um, so these can steer. Then you take this piece. Now this is the steering rack, standard steering rack, except I have these half long or half stud um, three long pieces with axle holes at the end and this is the way I extend the axle um, this whole system would also work if you have the 13 lo long steering rack Ooh. Um, and that would be that work fine um, you could make some alterations but if you just snap this in you want this facing down and it should snap into place and then when you so you want this part to be as flat as possible. You want this part to be as straight as possible so that axle is all straight and narrow. Now this right here, you see how it's curving? It's not straight. This would be a turn. You don't want that. So what I advise you do is you pick up this so it's not snapped into place and you can kind of steer it which way you want without actually taking it off. As you can see, like that. Now you can get it into the straight position and then you can just put it back down and there you go. 
Now, you may be asking, how are you going to get this to stay on if you have something like this? Now, this piece and this piece, you can use a three long connector, it doesn't matter. This just, you don't have the end. So I'm just going to snap that in like there, so that's not pushed all the way in. It goes right over this. Now I'm going to take this piece. It has, um, like, the axle end and then the pinhole on top. And you're going to put it in a different... So the two ends are on one side, and then turn it 90 degrees, and then the middle hole is showing. And then you're going to have a three stud long axle put in there, not pushed in all the way, like that. You're going to put this on and slide it down these two axles in front and then push it in. That connects with this T-piece. Now, this is basically the last step except for adding the motors and the wheel if you want to. Um, take the frame, same one as the bottom, nothing on it. You connect it into the four corners, like so, and then you slide in this piece. This stops it if it hits something that it will, basically it'll just stop it and that's a good thing. Now, this way it works. You can add limiters on the bottom, which I don't know how much they do really, but if you think it's oversteering, just take a normal pin and then take just like a spacer. Now, I don't know if I have one. Nice thing about having, here it is, okay, single spacer, oh, just one stud hole, put it on the top of this, like that, get two of these, and you can put it top or bottom, doesn't matter, I prefer bottom, like that, now that will stop it from steering, oversteering, basically, because sometimes when you oversteer, you are, um, sometimes when you oversteer, it slows the vehicle down, um, so next, we're going to just add the motor, like so, and it's functional. Now, I'm not going to include this. Now, if you want to, when putting wheels on, you're probably going to push this axle in, and you're going to say, oh, I don't like that, because then, you know, it moves. What I found best is to use the flat side of the beam, just press it against it, and you can push everything on. I'm not going to add wheels, just because... I'm not going to actually use this in a mock, but it works. Um, and to test it, I'm going to use um, these two Kata battery stuff because um, I'm using the other stuff in a chassis I have. Okay, so this is all working. Just take this, hook it up to the box. Now, as you see... Didn't work, didn't sink. Yep, there it goes. Okay, with everything synced, you can see I'm not holding it down and it comes back. So this is great if you don't have a servo motor. I'm fortunate I have two now with the whole servo shortage, but this works really well and feel free to use it in a mock. So, there you go, and have a great day.